Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do another quick video on the Fuji X-T4. This time we're gonna to touch on the My Menu function. This is a function that's available to set up on the custom, one of the custom menus of your Fuji X-T4. And what it will allow you to do is set and have in a special menu on the side is to be able to select a certain uh, different number of settings basically that you uh, access all the time. So you can actually set up this menu with items that you wish to have in there, ones that you kind of access all the time. It's just kind of like a quick, it's much like the quick menu, but it dives a little bit deeper into some of the settings for that. So let's jump into it. We'll show you how to add items to the My Menu and also take off items to the My Menu. All right, let's access the My Menu system. So the My Menu basically is a personalized menu of some of your frequently used options on the Fuji X-T4. So to access this, you wanna push the Menu OK button, and that's gonna take us in. And as you can see on the left-hand side here, if we scroll down, this My Menu function is, it's, it's kind of grayed out on the bottom, and it doesn't let you select it if you're scrolling, scrolling through. So what we need to do is add uh, My Menu uh, functions to this, uh, to add uh, our different, you know, frequently used uh, different options. So what we want to do to access this is we want to go down to the the wrench and to the um, user user settings and down to the one here that says my menu settings. Now there's two options. There's a the one on the top with a little camera icon. This is for your uh, menu system for your still photos. And on just below that is the movie icon, and this will be the My Menu setup for your frequently used movie, movie functions and setups. So there's two different menu settings that you can, My, my Menu settings that you can use on your Fuji X-T4. Um, that's the great thing about this camera is it has separate settings as you switch and, and go between movie and still mode. So we're gonna do, the adding the settings to either My Menu is basically the same, but obviously photo and video give you different options. Let's just jump into the photo one and once we select it, we hit menu, and then we're wanting to, to add items. And this will let us go through and select, there's three pages altogether of different settings that we can add to the My Menu. And you can actually select custom settings. There's a lot you can actually uh, add to this. So let's just add, let's do the one actually I use quite often is the film simulations. And you can actually, there we go. And we're gonna hit okay again, and that's gonna be saved. Now let's go back and we'll see now that the My Menu setting is, is brightened up and in that setting we can select and we can go in now and our film simulations are right, right there in the My Menu. So if we go to there, it's, it's always in the My Menu section to access. So we can go in and then we can now go and change our, our film simulations. Now to add another one, it would be the same way, go to the wrench up to user setting, my menu setting, add items, and let's do one from the second page, we'll find one here. Let's take one from, oops, we've gone back, user, oops. And this is where we can, we can actually, cause it's blue here, we can like, we can select basically any, you can kind of bring any function into your, into your my menu that is, uh, that is, that is usable from any, any, basically any of these, any of these, uh, let's do drive settings. So we'll select that and we'll do drive settings. So we're okay. So now we'll go back and we go back again, back again. Now the drive settings should be in there. There we go. So there we are, there's two added to the My Menu. So easy, easy access for, for different things. Now to re remove them from your My Menu settings, there's a, one way to do it. You're going back, same thing, User Settings, My Menu Setting. And if we, can, we can rank them. So if you wanna remove the order, you can, you can move the order between, between the two and it, re it will replace them. But if we wanna remove items, basically we can select the items that are there. You go Remove, we wanna remove this one. And if we go back now, what we'll see is our actually our My Menu setting, again, now is grayed out because we, we've removed all of the, the functions there. So that's just a handy way to add some of your frequently used settings that you like to get into on your camera. Um, I do find the Fuji menu system is quite easy to navigate anyways, but this is a good way if, you're, if there's certain menu items that you are 
basically using all the time. What I recommend doing is if you have certain ones from each subfolder that you use all the time that you're changing quite often is just move those ones down to your my, my menu so that they're for easy access. So there we go. That is the My Menu system for the Fuji X-T4. If you did find this video useful, by all means, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you liked the video. And if you did have questions about the Fuji X-T4, I am new to this camera system. I've only had it about a month now. So I'm kind of learning as I go and sharing videos on how to access and set up the different menus and some of the different functions on the, on the X-T4. So if you had a certain feature that you were wanting some more information on, let me know down in the comments below and I will do a video, do a bit of research and make a video to answer that question. Thanks so much everybody for watching. And if if you want to see my next video, you can check it out now.